Hi everyone. So I wanted to share some of these um, projects that I've created during the weeks as my days were getting really hectic. So before I started packaging, packaging them all, I wanted to share them with you. So this one I've already finished packaging with the labeling with my branding there. Um, these are snail mail envelopes and there's three in the set here. I think these are cute for friends and families and even teachers. So they're not, um, there's no sentiments. They're blank cards inside, but I thought I'd show you how I went about making these before I package them all, which is basically I'm just going to staple them. I was contemplating if I was going to add more stuff in here, but I am going to be selling these in my spring um, craft sale um, venue. Um, so they look like this. So I think they're so cute. Um, I wanted to use whatever I had in my stash as well as these uh, 12 by 12, oops, this one, I'll fix this, 12 by 12 um, papers, pattern papers that I had. I think I got a whole bunch of these from Walmart. And I think these were the 8.5 by 11 papers or the 12 by 12. I can't recall now. I pulled them out, um, tore them apart a long time ago. I just did not um, create anything till now. So as you can see, I'm just giving you guys a few ideas of what you could do with all sorts of papers that you have and package them so they do look, uh, you know, finished and it's a very clean look. So let me tell you what is inside. So inside you will find a slimline card that measures six and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I just use a regular card stock. I think there's 60 pounds versus the 110 pounds that you would use for um, many, envelope, um, many albums because you don't really need to have that heavy card stock to create these um, um, cards. So I think these are fine. So plus I had them in my stash. I wanted to use them. With this, I also added the um, envelopes that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, I know a lot of people have been using the slimline cards and just using the envelopes from Dollar Tree that measured six and a half by three and five eight. Um, but they do look like this. If you could see that the measurements a little bit different it says the six and three quarter by three and five eight but as i measured it it's between um what do you call it three and three eighths i think or yeah it's a little bit different but i rounded off to the nearest which was the three and a quarter so that's what it looks like so there's one of that and the second one is just your regular greeting card and this measures four and three quarter by four and a quarter and again just a blank um, greeting card with the designer paper or just a pattern paper. Uh, this envelope measures at four and a half by five and three quarters. This was already in my stash. It's so cute because there's a little thumb notched um, portion here. It's adorable. And then I created this um, policy envelope that measures six and a quarter by five and three quarter. And I went ahead and used my um, score tape or if you have a double adhesive tapes, you can use that to seal that if you want. Some, they just do package it without sealing it and gift these uh, envelopes as well. And the inside is just a regular plain card stock, reading card that measures um, six by five and a half. So that is what's inside the package. I just bought some cellophane um, bags to go with it. And I just think these make... Such adorable gifts as well as um, your craft um, sales during any holidays and themes, just whatever paper you you know design that you have. Um, getting this for a teacher, I think it's cute to have in handy if she needs to, you know, just open her drawer and pull out a card for a child or a parent or her colleagues. Um, this gives them, you know. Plenty of reasons to just say thank you or you know wishing you uh, a birthday or any great um things you want to say to a friend but i think they're perfect the envelope does fit um stickers in here as well as little goodies for snail mail so 
yeah, I just think if you package them really nicely, as I will be doing so, like so here, and this one here, and you sell them, people will be eyeing the designer paper as well. And I just think these are so cute. So let me know what you guys think and let me know how much I should sell them for. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.